Cisco AnyConnect, Remote Access VPN, ICE leveraging AD for authentication and authorization. We are going to push a group policy. So let's start in ASDM and we'll go ahead and create a group policy called sales-gp. And I'm just gonna modify the banner just so we know which group policy is actually being pushed by Identity Services Engine. And we'll go ahead and create another one called HR-GP. And we'll just modify the banner here just to let us know that we are connected to the HR group policy. And we'll go ahead and hit OK and apply. And if we go back up to the connection profile, we'll have a look at the default um, group policy that's assigned. And you can see it's group policy underscore FE80-CP. So we're not gonna touch that. This is where we're gonna have ICE provide that radius attribute back to um, ASA to ensure the right group policy is being pushed to the user. So I'm gonna create a downloadable ACL, something pretty simple here. We'll give it a name, sales-dacl. And we'll have deny IP any 1.1.1, uh, put in a subnet mask here, so slash 32, and then permit IP any, we'll do a quick check, we'll hit submit. I'm not gonna test the, the ACLs, but what I will do is validate that the, the proper ACL has been applied. I'll go ahead and create a, another one called HR. And we'll just change the deny IP 1.1.1 to 8.8.8. We can validate the uh, DACL if we need to. And we'll go ahead and hit submit. So we've got these two ACLs. We're going to go ahead and create two authorization profiles as well. So let's go ahead and add one. We'll give it a name. And we'll add the DACL that we just created, in this case sales. And we'll go ahead and look for the, the ASA-VPN common tasks here. And we'll go ahead and add our group policy for sales. So just let's remind ourselves here, it's sales-GP. So we need to make sure that that's correct and we'll go ahead and hit submit. We'll copy this out, we'll duplicate it, and we'll modify it for the HR user. But before that, let me put VPN, just so we know what this authorization profile is meant to be assigned to, right? So I'm gonna put VPN in here, and then we'll go ahead and copy that out. We'll duplicate it. Get rid of that, we'll put HR in place. We'll modify the downloadable ACL to be HR. And we'll go ahead and modify the ASA-VPN to ensure it says HR-GP. And we'll go ahead and submit here. All right, so we've got this authorization profile that's referencing those downloadable ACLs and as well as pushing the radius attribute. Um, for uh, the group policy. So let's go ahead and modify our uh, authorization policy currently in place and we'll, we'll, we'll change the HR to make sure that it's using the HR uh, VPN authorization profile and then we'll go ahead and duplicate this line. We'll change this to sales and we'll go ahead and modify the group here. Membership is for sales group. Go ahead and, and hit use. We'll get rid of HR and we'll add sales here and we'll save that out. So that's it. That's how easy it is to get it uh, fully functional. So ASA obviously was already had um, all the VPN components done. It, and honestly, it's just the wizard. And then we've modified a couple group policies, nothing magical. 
And then in ICE, all we did was modify the policy that was in place. So let's connect and let's make sure that it's working here. So let's go ahead, HR1 will be the user. You can see the group is FE80-CP, that's the connection uh, profile that we're connecting to. Uh, let's go ahead and hit connect. This is the HR group. Okay, that's exactly what we expected, right? HR user from the HR group in Active Directory is being assigned the HR-GP group policy. So let's validate that. Let's go ahead and, and, and look at um, show VPN session DB for any connect. And we can see the username, HR1. We can see the assigned IP address. And if we look at group policy, we can see it's HR-GP. And let's have a quick look at show access list. We can see here the IPHR DACL. Now we're going to go ahead and, and connect with the sales one user from the sales group. Go ahead and hit OK and we can see this is the sales group. So again, everything looks like we're hitting the right group policy. This should connect. We should be able to ping that inside host. There we go. Now let's go ahead and quickly do a show VPN sessions any connect and we can see sales one. We can also see the internal IP uh, or sorry the VPN IP and then we can also see the group policy uh, sales GP and the tunnel group is FE80-CP. So even though there's a default assigned we're getting the right policy and we can see that the IP sales DACL is, has been applied and you can see the deny 1.1.1 right and again if we look here real quick we can see that that ACL is applied and, and in that identity we can see that shown up you know the IP HR and the IP uh, sales DACLs. So pretty easy to enforce the proper group policy on a user when they're connecting to any connect and leveraging ICE.